Hello guys, good day uh, for today. Uh, we will set up the or we going to install the Go Auto Dial uh, version 4. So I'm using uh, from scratch using CentOS 7. So let's go. So we're going to start. So first, you need to log on on your footy. then after you log in so going back to our installation tutorial and then going to update our system just copy and update <coughs> and wait until ok and then after that uh, going to install the Editor Nano and uh, Downloader that you get. Okay, sweet again. Okay, so after that, uh, gonna install the Nano and WGET. Okay, and then just copy this one, then copy and paste on the on the terminal. Okay, wait until it finish the download and the installation of the package okay after the discrepancy installed so just go to cdm repos that so cd hm that repos that d then press enter and then copy again the the link to <coughs> and then we gonna from the installation of the maria db for database php asterisk 13 camillo rtp engine and other discrepancies so I'll just go here and then copy all this one so be careful for copy okay copy and then paste on the terminal and then enter it so wait again until until the installation will finish for the package ok just press yes for yes Yes, yes, okay. Yes, we do. Install. Okay, yes, again. Okay, so complete, and then after that, you need to edit the nanodiam.com. So for this.
this one so that D just put on here then copy D exclude that this so that the that the application will not update when you make an yum update or okay after that we're going to yum update so that the daddy will not get update so they will they is exclude on the update okay wait again until finish all and after that uh, enable the some services or apps on the startup like the PHP, FPM, HTTPD, the Apache, the MariaDB, and the Camillo, and the NGCP RTP engine. So, let's copy it one by one. Okay, just so yes. Okay, it's done. Then copy one by one, then press enter. But you can copy all at the one time, but I want to sure it's all running correctly. And okay, the camellia. So all the settings will run when you reboot automatically. Okay, and then disable the IP tables. Okay. and then create a uh, missing camellio runtime library so gonna create so make your dear camellio and then make a permission so use your permission ciao camellio and then gonna install the go auto tile and then so gonna cd and install the go to tile and wait until we finish again the installation so Okay, so next will be go to the directory. So CD user, CD user SRC. Then go to dial, then press enter, and then type the install installation script. Okay, and then all the all the okay. So I guess I'll go right now, and then gonna install the cpan. So yeah, install Y then cpan. So. Okay, and then gonna install the net server, CPAN net server. Okay, just press enter, enter, enter. Then wait again to do the installation automatically. center
Okay, after finish the first install, then gonna install the Sipan Asterix Sagi. Let's copy and paste again. Okay, and the next step is will be gonna edit the nano RTP engine. So change the to your public IP address. But right now I'm not. I don't have a public IP address. So I will change using my uh, local IP. So my private IP. So because I don't have an static IP address. And then the next is the Camilla CLG. So look for this. So for the Camilla, so I'm gonna find, I'm gonna copy this one, and gonna say Control W to find, then press Enter. Okay. I'm gonna change this to my local IP or private IP, and also this one. So, okay. Then control zero for the seat and control X for the exit. And then next it will be on my cron tab. So they said here if if blank, so you need to copy all that. So I'm gonna check if we have a blank. So right now our cron job is we have a file. <laughs> And then, so after checking our our Chrome job, it's uh, if they have all these files there, so you need to reboot. So gonna do the reboot, and then wait for a few minutes, and then gonna back again. to update our web config so go to the word w then html and then git gonna go for the git download to the host and then just copy and paste and wait until then get pull to update the files So wait until the download on the required objects. Okay, then then the next it will be go to, to the word w go AVI version 2 and then same. So they have some update on the file. Then go to, to get the pool. <coughs> so Okay, after all that, so our last step, it will be, okay, we're gonna check if our, if our server is working already, so, okay, <coughs> oops, so I got an error, so my SQL host is not set, okay, so I'm gonna go to need to check here so I'm gonna check this one how to update latest version of github okay so I'm gonna copy this make a backup for my as just client okay and then I'm gonna go here no no I think 
species I'm already up uh I have already so I think update the database so update the existing version 4 so I have already on version 4 I will try this so okay I think this one this is my problem so go to your VHP configuration then delete all this one zero and then enter and then just exit then go back on our web page so gonna refresh okay so we have done uh we have successfully installed the version 4 of go to dial by and then we're gonna try it if our successfully login okay just paste the password then go to dial and admin sweet if you have okay so we have successfully installed the Go Auto Dial version 4 using the Scratch installation with CentOS 7, CentOS 7 OS. Uh, have a 4 core CPU core 4 and 16 gig of RAM and 50 gig of hard drive. So, okay, this is the image of the Go Dial with Camellio version 4. So, guys, uh, this is for this is the tutorial for now on how to install the Go Auto Dial version four on the CentOS version uh, seven on Scratch installation. So, um, uh, this is our tutorial. So, gonna end this for now. Then for our next, gonna set up the our GSM Gateway connect connection for the Go Auto Dial so that we can test the inbound and outgoing call for this uh, go out to dial so thank you guys and don't forget again to like and share and subscribe to my channel for more 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 updates about uh, open source telephony or open source call center system so you can use this to your company or small small medium enterprises call center system so thank you guys and have a nice day don't forget again to like and share and subscribe hbd tutorial goodbye